Our memory is central to who we are. It represents our record of our life. It's the store of all of our experiences and all of our knowledge and the skills we've gained over a lifetime. All of our everyday activities depend on memory, whether it's recognizing people and places, remembering people's names, knowing what things are called, for example, this plant, and remembering to go to an appointment. It could be working out the plan for the day or just going through the steps in a routine task like making breakfast. When we talk about dementia, including Alzheimer's disease, most people realize this is something that greatly affects a person's memory over time. But what may be helpful for carers to know is that some aspects of memory are affected more than others. For example, you'll probably notice right from the early stages that the person finds it hard to learn and remember new information, and they have difficulty remembering details of recent events. He or she yes. may also misplace things much more often than usual. Other things that become increasingly difficult over time include retrieving words and names from memory, holding information in the mind for anything more than a very short time, and keeping track of tasks, for example, like making a sandwich, by remembering the order of the steps and also which ones have already been done. However, some types of memory are generally more resilient even as the dementia progresses. For example, people's memory for well-learned facts often continues well into the middle stages of the disease, as does their memory for more remote events, for example, their childhood and early adulthood. And then even in the later stages of the disease, people may still respond to personally relevant information, even if they're not able to express it in words. Another form of memory that can be relatively well preserved throughout is the memory for everyday skills and habits. It's those things that have become automatic as a result of being repeated many, many times. And given plenty of practice, it's possible for the new habits to be acquired as well. The value in knowing which areas of memory are most affected by dementia and which are more resilient is that we can find ways to compensate for the difficulties and make the most of the relatively intact forms of memory. To assist in this goal, we've provided carers with a set of practical strategies called recaps. This is to help support memory in people with dementia so that they can stay involved in everyday tasks and activities for as long as possible. There are two versions of recaps one for carers in professional settings and one for carers at home. 